bows on bows on bows on bows <laughs> here in the south the bigger the bow the better and i love for my daughters to be matching so from their clothes to their bows do you like what i did there with that rhyme i want them to look cute and match and we've got a photo shoot coming up with a cute bunny and so i thought why not learn how to make custom bows so i watched a few videos online and i was showing on my instagram story the ones that i made as i was getting them done for the first time and i asked if you guys would want to see a video and the response was overwhelming. I got a ton of people saying, yes, please. I want to make them for my daughter, my granddaughter, my friend's child. Um, so here we are. I'm going to show you how you can make a pinwheel bow. They're so easy. And we're also going to make bow ties because I know we've got some cute little guys that I'm sure are going to want to match their sisters. And you can even make bow ties for your pets as well. So this technique that I'm going to show you is going to work for everyone in the family. So here's what you need. You're going to need some ribbon. You wanna use non-wired ribbon. So I've got a variety of one and a half inch ribbons. I really love fun colors. You can do solids as well. These ribbons that I'm using today are from Ribbons and Bows Oh My, which is an online store, but you can also get ribbon at your craft store. Michaels has a really great selection as well. You're going to need something to attach your bow to. So traditional headbands are also available at the craft store. I also really like these softies for my baby girl, Isabella, who's still only two months old. So these are really great and soft and don't hurt her head. My three-year-old actually likes to wear these too. Um, they can stretch pretty big. So they work for infants all the way up till three and bigger. I could probably fit one of these on my head too. Um, or you're gonna want clips. So these are great. My daughter who is three has a bunch of bows that has these little alligator clips on them. Um, this also works well to make a clip on bow tie. And then you're going to need some hot glue. Of course, I like my glue gun, um, but regular hot glue will work. You can also use a fabric glue, but keep in mind if you use a fabric glue, you're gonna to wanna to have something handy to hold it in place because it doesn't dry instantly. I prefer hot glue in this case because it dries like that and I'm busy, I don't have time to wait. Um, and then you're gonna need a good scissor to cut some nice sharp ends to your bows. You're also gonna want some type of heat source. So either a lighter or a flamethrower that you would light a candle with to just burn the end of your ribbons when you're done so that they don't fray. All right, you guys ready to get started? We're gonna make three today. We're gonna make one for my older daughter, Lily, one for Isabella, and then I'm gonna show you how to make a matching bow tie. All right, let's get started. I like to start by keeping my ribbon actually on the spool. That way you don't cut too much, too little, you use just enough. So what we're going to do is pull some out loosely. Now you wanna start depending on how big you want your bow to be. So you can decide if you wanna do a three inch, a four inch, or you can just eyeball it. But we wanna start with the end in the back. So I'm gonna fold this over. Now, when you fold it over, the important thing is we want our end to be a little bit longer because we're gonna end up trimming this to make the cute little um, finished ends to our bow and it needs to be just a tad bit longer. So fold it over just like that. And then we're going to loop it back. And remember, we're gonna make our loops a little bit smaller because we want our tail to be longer. So we're looping it back over again. And then one more time to the front. And you wanna use your thumb as your holder finger to kind of hold everything in place so that it doesn't unravel. Okay, and when we get back to the front, we're going to loop back around to the back again. And then once we loop back to the back, that's gonna be our last loop. Now, what you wanna do is remember, we left our tail over here a little bit longer. We wanna do the same exact thing with this tail. So take your scissor and you wanna use a nice sharp scissor and you wanna leave a little extra and remember, your thumb is your holder finger. Now we're done with this. So we didn't use too much, too little. We used exactly what we needed so that we could save on our ribbon. And we're going to accordion fold. So pay close attention. I'm going to do it slow. We're going to fold up. So right in the center, put your thumb in that center there. And you're going to fold up and you're going to pinch it. Okay, so that's step one. We pinch. And then we're going to accordion fold. So we're gonna pinch down and in to one side. And then if you need to switch hands, I kind of do. I just make sure that I keep holding it tight. Same thing with this one. We're gonna accordion fold this side, down, in, and pinch. Now, you wanna make sure that you are pinching in the center. So now is the time that you can adjust if you need to. So look at your bow, look at it. Make sure that it looks like it's pretty even. 
so that your loops are about the same. You can move your fingers as needed, okay? Hold it nice and tight with your thumb and your index finger, and then we're gonna take our hot glue. Now, you wanna be careful. This is why I like my glue gun for this, because it's got the detail point, and you're gonna need to get into these small little crevices. So slightly loosen your finger, and you're gonna see the folds start to open. You don't wanna loosen them too much, because you don't wanna let it slip out of your fingers. Put some hot glue in that first fold, pinch it back together for a second, and then you're going to let it dry. We're gonna slightly unpinch our fingers, let each fold open up, and put a dab of glue, and then pinch it back together until it sets. And then we're going to flip over to the other side. So you don't wanna let it go yet, because this side is not glued either. So you wanna do the same exact thing, slightly loosen your pinch, put a little bit of glue in each fold, squeeze it back together, and do the same thing until you get glue in between each fold. Once your glue is set, you'll notice that you can loosen your pinch and your bow is starting to form. Okay, we're definitely not done yet, but now what we're going to do is we're going to make some nice trimmed edges. I like to fold mine over, use my scissor, and cut down for a perfectly flagged edge, like that. And we're gonna do that on each side. Okay, so now before we move on to attaching our bow, here is where you would wanna take a flamethrower or a flame and just slightly burn the edges. At this point, you wanna decide what you wanna put your bow on. So whether you're gonna put it on a headband or an alligator clip or one of the softies. So you can decide which one, but this is the point where you need to decide. I think for this one, since this one's a little bit smaller, I'm gonna put this one on a softy for my newborn, Isabella. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another piece of ribbon. You wanna cut a piece that's going to be long enough to wrap around the center. So I'm gonna cut a little more than I need, and I'm gonna cut a little extra because I know I'm gonna make this in another size for Lily. So. Depending on how thick you want your center to be, you can use the full ribbon or you can cut it in half. I'm gonna cut mine in half. And remember, I'm using a one and a half inch wide ribbon. So I get two out of this. So I have one that I can use for lilies. And then what I'm going to do is flip it over and I want all of my edges to be nice and finished. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and I'm going to fold over each side. And you gotta work kind of fast before your hot glue dries. Um, if you don't work that fast, you may just wanna do a little at a time. And if it does start to dry, you can always come back and add more. So I'm gonna wrap it around to measure really quick. I always do a little bit more because I can trim it later. And again, save these extra pieces because you can also mix and match your centers and your bows. So if you were doing another color pink, this would be really cute to use as the center. Now, before I wrap my center on, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually glue my bow to my soft band. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and you wanna make sure that you're using the right side of the bow, right? This is only a one-sided bow, so I want my white um, ends to be facing back. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here. I'm gonna take my soft headband and I'm gonna glue this to my softy. And then we're gonna finish it by taking our centerpiece. And what you may wanna do is if your centerpiece is fraying like mine is, I'm gonna trim it and then I'm gonna just take my, my little candle thrower flame here and just burn the end real quick of both sides, even though I may trim it. And then we're gonna wrap this around and we wrap it around over the softy. So this makes it kind of a double sturdy bow. Put a little bit of glue right there, we'll hold it, and then we're gonna wrap this side around. I have extra, so I'm gonna trim it. And while this is right here, I just burn that, and then put a little extra glue to finish it off.
and you want to just hold it in place until the glue is dry. And once it's dry, you have such a cute little bow. Pull away any of your excess glue strings. And then you can also fluff out the loops of your bow. How stinking cute is that, guys? All right, I'm gonna grab the larger one that I made earlier for Lily and show you how to put it on a headband. So I made the exact same type of bow, just a little bit bigger, so you can see the size difference. And this one's gonna be for Lily. And we're gonna put this one on a headband. So just like the softy, you're gonna take your headband and we're gonna glue this to the headband. Now here's where you decide how you want it placed. If you want it to be on the top, you're gonna glue it to the top, or if you want it to be more on the side, I like it more on the sides. So when you're looking at my daughter straight on, you see the bow up like that. So I'm gonna glue mine onto the side. And again, make sure that you put it on the right side. You wanna put the glue on the side where you see the, the whites or the backs of your bow. And then you can decide if you want it to be straight on or to the side. I like mine a little cocked to the side. So we're gonna glue that on. Once the glue is set, we're gonna take the same type of centerpiece that we made for the small bow and we're going to wrap it again around. And you make sure that you cut it long enough that it fits all the way around and goes around the headband as well. And just like that, we have a headband bow. I can even wear this. How cute is it? Okay, so we don't wanna leave our little guys out. We are going to make a bow tie. So if you've got a little boy that you want to match, I'll show you how easy it is to make a bow tie for him. So we're gonna take the same ribbon and again, we're gonna keep it on our spool. That way we don't do too much or too little. And we're going to fold it, depending on how big you want your bow tie to be. So we're gonna keep ours somewhat small. We're gonna fold half over, and then we wanna measure enough so that it's equally half and half, okay? All right, and then we can trim it. And then if you wanna let it out again, just to make sure that you get it equally spaced, you can use a ruler if you want, but I like to eyeball things. <laughs> so you want it to be equal together. And you can overlap them a smidge if you want as well. Find your center, okay? So just like that, we're gonna find our center and we're gonna fold it in. And we're gonna do the same type of accordion fold that we did with our bows, except not as many times. So again, find your center, fold it in, and then you're going to pinch under each side and fold those sides down, okay? Again, hold it in between the index and the pointer finger. And here's also where you need to make sure that you're in the center. So if for some reason you look a little off, you may wanna readjust. And you can decide if it's too big or it's too small. I'm gonna make mine a little bit smaller, so I decide I wanna bring in these just a little bit more. So you can kind of adjust as you're going. Again, when you're ready, pinch the center in and then fold your edges down. There we go, I think I like that size. Just a smidge better. Make sure that you're in the center and you can kind of move if you need to. And then just like we did with our bow, we're gonna take our glue gun, we're gonna slightly unpinch our fingers and put little dots of glue in between each fold. And then we're also going to flip over, let it dry and then flip over and do the exact same thing. And as you're holding it, waiting for your glue to dry, you can kind of poof up your sides to get an idea of the shape and also see if you need to add any more glue to make sure that it's equally poofy on either side. For this center, we're gonna make it a little bit wider. So I'm gonna cut another piece. And I want mine to be wider. So before we cut our ribbon in half, we're gonna keep it the full one and a half inch width and we're gonna fold each side into the center. So I'm gonna put a line of glue, and then we're gonna fold each side in. All right, now we wanna make sure that this looks good around the center, which it does, and we'll end up trimming this in just a second. But we're gonna take one of our little alligator clips because this is gonna be a clip-on bow tie. So there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You can glue it completely to your alligator clip or you can just slide your clip in. We're gonna do it to where we create a loop and then just slide our clip in. So I'm gonna trim this. It's about the length that I need. 
And then when we glue this one, we wanna make sure that we've got the right side that we want facing forward. We're gonna glue this in a loop, so it's not actually gonna be glued to the back. So lay it down on the table, put a little bit of glue on one end, bring the other end to it without letting it touch the bow and without burning yourselves, and hold those together until it dries. And you'll notice there'll be a space in the back. And then when we turn it back around, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how my loop is a little bit loose. I'm gonna put just, take my nice fine point to my glue gun, put a little bit of blue, put a little bit of glue underneath the loop, press it down, and that way my loop will stay secure against the front. And we'll fluff it in just a second, but now we can take our alligator clip and we can do two things. You can either glue it to this side of the alligator clip or you can just slide your clip in there and then just clip it onto a shirt. Once we are ready, you can kind of fluff your ends to be as poofy or as flat as you want. We're gonna go poofy. So you put your fingers in there and then you can kind of just manipulate how big your bubbles are. And just like that, we have a family of bows. Hey, you could maybe even get in one for dad to clip on. <laughs> I don't know if I can convince my husband to wear one of these. We'll see when it comes to our next family photos. But I made a bunch more. So I wanna show you guys all the ones that I made using the ribbons that you guys saw here. So we've got this cute little set and then our bow tie that goes with it. I also made some rainbow ones, so how cute are these? Now the difference with these, you can see we used a different center in these, so you can mix and match. With these, we took our, um, our teal plaid and used that as the center. I bet you bet, that one's cute. I might steal this one, Lily might not get this one. <laughs> or maybe I'll just make one so I can match the girls. And then we've also got our teal ones. So how cute are these? I love how cute these are. Then, I've got a pink one that I made for Lily. And for this one, I put it on the alligator clip so that'll just clip right in her hair when we just wanna pull a little piece of her hair back. Easy, right? Um, I'm so glad that I made these and that you guys were excited about the tutorial. Um, tell me in the comments if you like them and make sure that you tag me when you make bows for anyone in your family, whether it's the little girls or bow ties for the boys, or maybe you make these for your dog. You can make these and put them on a dog collar as well. So, and if you guys get one of your husbands to wear a ribbon bow tie, I want to see it as well. All right, that's it. Easy peasy, all done. How cute do my girls look? So check out the pictures that we took with their matching bows on. And more pictures will be coming, but I wanted to show you guys how adorable they looked. All right, that's it. For more fun tutorials, make sure that you're following me at Craftbox Girls over on Instagram and Facebook. And also make sure that you are subscribed to our newsletter, which comes out once a week. You can do that over at craftboxgirls.com. That's it. Bye guys. Happy crafting.